So Carrie talked a little bit about the application that we're going to write. So let's get right to the application. Um, I have a Java application um, that I copied directly from, from the source on, the, on our website, and it's called repayedata.java. It's a very simple Java application that I'm going to open right here. And what it does is it will read data from a ZOS data set or file containing insurance payee information. And it's once it reads that data, it will print it out directly to standard output. So it's a very simple application to demonstrate using JSOS um, toolkit to read ZOS data sets directly um, on, Z on ZOS mainframe. Um, this is a main method, and once we go into the main, it will ask it will ask for a data set name. Um, so when you um, start the application, you will provide the application um, with the name of a ZOS data set as an argument. And in this application, it will grab the first argument that's coming into the um, application and set it to the data set name, which it needs in order to um, read from the data set. Right? It needs the data set name. Next, we have a very simple constructor. It's a Z file constructor. Um, Z file is a class in JSOS that allows you to read and write to ZOS data sets and files. So in this case, we're opening a new Z file. When you create a new Z file, it will open the, the data set that is named by data set name, and it will open it in read mode. Here's the R uh, in binary mode, and it will read the data set um, one record at a time. That's why we have type equals record. And there's also a no seek flag here um, just to tell Z file to uh, don't skip around. This will increase the performance of the read operation because we're really reading the file sequentially. We're not skipping around to different parts of the file. Um, that's about it. So there's one command with uh, several options allow you to open the ZOS data set on the mainframe using Java. So that's pretty cool. And if you want to know more about Z file, um, you can go to the JSOS Javadocs API and we have a lot more methods in JSOS that you can utilize. Um, let's see. So here is the um, uh, Z file, Javadoc, um, with a bunch of methods that you can you can call. Um, you can reach this Javadoc through the JSOS overview website. Um, which is linked to our website. It's at, um, yeah, it's at this URL. You can go to it directly from our website. All right. So after we open the ZOS um, mainframe data set, we are now going to go through reading the data set, and this is where this block of code is for. Um, the following block, it will read from Z file uh, one record at a time. And if there's more records, it will uh, continue reading. It will print out the record that it just read. And if there are no more records, so if the Z file read me method returns negative one, then we will exit out of the while loop and um, close the Z file. When we close the file, it just means that we're closing the ZOS data set because we're finished reading. So it's a very simple application. Uh, we open the ZOS data set for read. And we're reading it one record at a time in a while loop. We print out whatever that we read. And after we finish reading it, we will close it with Z file closed. All right. So now that we talked a little bit about um, this application, how do you get it to run on ZOS? 